This morning, our closest look yet at the nonstop search for survivors in Surfside. Bucket by bucket, crews on top of the pile helping move millions of pounds of debris. Eight more bodies found Tuesday, raising the death toll to 36. Rescuers only breaking for bad weather as Elsa barreled toward shore. They were forced to pause for a little bit, about two hours earlier this afternoon because of the lightning. For the first time Tuesday, officials gave NBC and other media access to what's left of Champlain Tower South. And the first thing that stands out is the sheer void of what's left behind from the collapse of this tower. Pieces of concrete as big as a car, rebar jutting out. That is the situation that rescue workers are dealing with 24 seven. But hope that anyone may have survived in pockets of rubble is dwindling. You know, unfortunately we're not seeing anything positive. Personal belongings pulled from the site, photographed and geotagged as investigators catalog the massive scene. The cause of the collapse still unknown. Miami officials now reviewing the structural integrity of older city condo buildings higher than five stories. Officials also inspecting the collapsed condo's sister building, Champlain Towers North, which was built around the same time by the same team, likely using the same materials, they say. We have some concerns about not just some, but deep concerns about that building, especially given we don't know uh, what has happened there. Meanwhile, funerals for those lost starting Tuesday. The Guada family remembered their two little girls, Lucia and Emma, sharing the same casket marked with two ribbons. Just blocks away, the memorial for all victims only grows. Volunteers placing fresh flowers next to pictures of those still missing. It's just heartbreaking. Morgan, in addition to officials reviewing other buildings in the area, there are now reports of statewide efforts to consider major changes to these types of buildings. What can you tell us? Yeah, Chanel, uh, Wall Street Journal reporting a state task force has been created not to look at the cause of this collapse, but to examine laws and regulations currently in place for all condo buildings in the state of Florida. And their goal, come up with a list of recommendations for the governor to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. Absolutely. Chanel? All right, Morgan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.